people have been asking me how do I curl my hair the way I iron. So I decided to make a video and show you guys step by step. This is very simple. Hopefully at the end of this video, you kind of get the gist of it. So first thing is first. And I have dry hair. I just washed and let it air dry. That's what looks a little crazy. So I had to brush it off. just divide it into okay so grab your hair as you see place the flat iron at the very top and then from the other end just twist it in and just keep that that in there a little by little let it slide out ta-da Believe it or not, these actually last a lot longer than with a curling iron or a curling wand. So, and it's better if you don't straighten your hair first because then they might come out a lot faster. But let's repeat the same process over here. So at the very top, twist it. Make sure that it then flips out like that. Slide it through. Ta da! Okay, so let's repeat the same process. Divide a little more. curls are out and you grab the hair that needs to be curled this can get a little tricky so if you have a different method use that okay now do the same thing don't part it in two but since now you have a lot more hair just take out a little piece from it and put it in the back okay. let's start again you see Right there, flip it all the way, let the hair strand fall through, make sure that it stays within the heating pad, and little by little, let it slide out, like I said, and sometimes it comes out, so just make sure it gets right in there. And the reason why you don't want to also grab big pieces of hair is because it won't curl. It will just look flat. Okay. Let it slide out. And if you feel like it gets stuck in between, just do this little motion and it literally slides off. Okay, so I'm almost done with my head over here. Just working on the last strand and then I'm going to show you how it's looking so far. Okay, so, so far this is how it looks. Nice bouncy curls 
which at the end you actually get to run your fingers through and it's gonna look really pretty, I promise. Okay, so when I get to this part, I like to part it first on the sides. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then just keep working my way up and then towards the top then you part it somewhat of how you want it, whether it's down the middle, to the side, whichever way, it doesn't matter. It's really up to you. Just make sure it's not knotty. And honestly, I mean, the way you turn the iron doesn't really matter if it, you know, it's up to you. As long as it's flipped the wrong way, you're going to get your curls. And since I didn't part this into because I don't have like a lot of hair, thick hair. So if you do, I mean, always, like I said, just part it make sure you grab small strands nothing too thick because then your curls are definitely not going to come out the best part of this is that it's so fast too it's not time consuming whatsoever so now that you curl the top now it's time to fix you know your little beauty things you want to bring them down you don't want to look like Medusa. And if you have bangs like I do, long bangs, I mean, you can curl them. I don't like to just because then it becomes too short, too high, and it just doesn't level out with my hair. So I just kind of like get them like down, straighten them towards the back like that, and make sure they just stay super small to the side. And so... If you like how it looks, now this is the time for you to kind of like run your fingers through your hair. Do it so good. And then you part how you like. I hope it looks really good. I hope you have